Yes, I have my Christmas hat on, I have all my ornaments and my lights in the background, but let me tell you, it wasn't that easy setting this up. Ah, someone get this shit off of me! Hey guys! And with this festive getup and all the Christmas ornaments and stuff in the background, you must think, Marco, you're planning some big Christmas special. No, 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 I'll tell you about that another day. What I'm here to talk about now is something a lot more serious. The Captain America Civil War teaser trailer, I guess you could say, just dropped yesterday and the internet just hit the fan. People all around the world are just raving about it, saying it's one of the best things they've ever seen and how excited they are. But me, I'm just sitting in my chair like... And why is that, you may ask? Because I didn't watch the trailer. I know, I know, I know. So what does that mean about this video? It means it's not going to be one of those videos of why you should go watch the trailer, how awesome the trailer is, or a, re a reaction or a review on the trailer. No, it's going to be me telling you why you shouldn't watch the trailer. Now the first reason I can think of is something I like to call the paradox. If you ask any fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe or any random person on the street who just really goes to the big budget action movies, if they're going to go see Captain America Civil War, I bet you any money, all of them will say, Yes. And this was the day it was confirmed, not even after they watched the trailer. And what are the jobs of trailers? They're to get you to want to watch the movie, to look to your friend next to you and be like, I want to watch that movie. Yet when Marvel had their big event, everyone was already like, I want to see this movie. So why are you going against it now? No matter if you saw the trailer or not, you were going to see this movie, I can guarantee you without a doubt. But people use it as a defense to say, oh, well, I didn't really know. Stop. Stop! You were gonna see this movie no matter what. Don't even kid yourself. That is why it doesn't make sense to watch the trailer. Number two, spoilers. The last thing I wanna do is watch a trailer, see one of the main characters die, and then wait for that moment in the theater. Well, I should just be amazed while it happens in the theater. I don't want that thought lingering in the back of my mind. It's why I don't read reviews or watch reviews until after I watch the movie. I don't want these thoughts in my mind while I watch it. I, along with so many people in this world, go to the movies to be entertained, to enjoy themselves, and, you know, be surprised. Yet I find that trailers, and I don't know about this trailer in particular, but trailers in general, for the most part, take away that surprise. Number three, the action. This kind of goes in the line with spoilers, where if it's Cap's team, Iron Man's team going head-to-head, -head, the big, awesome shot, you don't want to see that in the trailer. You don't want to see that on your little phone or your little desktop. You want to see it in the theater for the first time. Not in a trailer, no, 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 no. But in the theater while watched in a movie. Again, you don't want to have to piece together the puzzle of like, oh, I saw this action scene in the trailer, so that means they're going here next. You just want to be amazed by all the action set pieces and just have your jaw drop and some, and some of the moves or, you know, abilities that they pull off. Number four! Those memorable lines! If Cap is having some badass dialogue towards Iron Man and his team, you don't want to have to, like, think about what the dialogue is and actually say it with Cap while the movie's going on. No, 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 no! You want it to leave an impression with you in the theater. Any big line or big confrontation in a movie called Civil War, you want to experience firsthand. Duh. And number five, which is my final reason, do it for yourself. Trust me, from first-hand experience, I've been avoiding big action movie trailers or even smaller, you know, indie film trailers for uh, a year and a half or so, I would say now. And I can guarantee you every time I walk out of the theater with a group of friends that have already seen all the trailers, I enjoy the movie so much more than they do because I don't know anything that's going on. Yes, my finger hovered above my mouse for countless minutes yesterday trying not to click that trailer. I didn't. I didn't do it because I want to savor it for myself. After doing the same technique for countless movies, I've learned that patience really is a virtue and it really does pay off. So trust me and believe me, do it. So as you can tell, I get very passionate about trailers because I think for the most part, at least, they've been ruining a lot of movies as of late. And I just don't want you guys to experience the same thing. Again, I didn't watch the trailer. I don't know if it gives away nothing. I don't know if it doesn't show any of the big set pieces or anything. But I'm just saying, that's the reason I didn't watch it, and that's the reason I don't think you should have watched it, or any of the preceding trailers to come by. Definitely go support this movie. Definitely see it a few times in theaters. Buy their posters. Buy their action figures. I don't care what. Just don't spoil it for yourself. So yeah, this is my rant on why I didn't watch the Captain America Civil War trailer. If you're doing the same thing, let me know. But, you know, this whole trailer aspect I could get, I get so passionate about that I could even make a full video on it. You know, maybe 
If you guys want, then maybe it'll be a video I make down the road. Who knows? So let me know your thoughts on why I didn't watch the trailer in the comments down below. And until next time, I'm Marco Polo 2 for 17. Ciao for now.